Hey, what's up, guys? We're Pavements. Pavements! And you're watching Rock Sound. Yow! I am here now backstage at the Dome in Tufnell Park here in London, joined now by Tyler, Freddie, and Nick, aka Pavements. Here they are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. How What's are up, you, boys? Ooh. Welcome we're, to London, first of all. Oh man, it's Thank really nice to it. see you. We were just saying, like, this is an awesome venue. You guys are gonna have like the best show. Honestly, are you hyped for it? What can fans kind of expect from this first UK tour you're well, about to embark on? Jesus, man, this is this is our first time, you know, traveling to UK as a band. And then yesterday we played at the Great, or two days ago we played at the Great Escape Festival. Mm. That was our second show ever as this band Man. um and it was such a great time it's exciting it's yeah, yeah the, 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 the crowd response too, yeah. is super into it they really they i mean our, our music's pretty catchy and you know you can jump and have fun to it and so i think that's kind of what we're going to expect tonight you know nice. we still have like um an ep that we're going to release i think june 8th um so be on the lookout for that but you know as of now we only have one single out so i think for the most part we're going to try to get everyone like all the songs get everyone's um, like just beat the songs into their heads yeah, yeah, yeah. and scream these vocals back and so uh, we're really looking forward to this um, this is a great venue yeah um, I'm pumped man. it's exciting times but I was gonna say like that that's I guess the interesting thing when it's you've kind of built up a bit of an online following already right. but it is your first kind of couple of gigs so how are you finding the crowds how do you how, do you know how they've come across you do they just know the one song are they already learning words to stuff online how's uh, it all going exactly. well yeah, yeah. They're, they're definitely learning the, the the one song that we have online on Spotify and um, Apple Music iTunes and stuff like that and YouTube you can't forget about YouTube oh yeah um, but the, the crowd response is is absolutely insane when it comes to you know music out here I mean they've never heard these songs before yeah and they're going absolutely crazy for for everything that we play and so it, it, it makes us feel really great right guys I yeah, feel amazing. Right. I feel terrible. <laughs> Typical. Just yeah. contrast. Just contrast it. Uh, we should <laughs> say, I mean, like the singles we've heard so far, yeah, it's got a great kind of, if I may say, retro pop punk Please. sound in the best possible way. Like, that's really, really right. is. Yeah. So who are the influences? That I'm sensing a lot of Blink. I Absolutely. Think that's that's, 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 that's is, is, is for all of us, for sure. That's for the sure. biggest influence. That's what got me started playing music. Anytime I pick up a guitar, it just ends up sounding like Blink. Late night, come home. Work sucks, I know. She left me roses by the stairs. Surprises let me know she cares. But um, over the years, we've gotten really close and, and gotten to know a lot of these new kind of modern punk bands, where it's like Neck Deep, yeah. Story Puck. So Far, Knuckle Puck, Trash and they've, Boat, Trash Boat, and they've yeah. influenced a lot in our music playing and our style. You know, Fantastic. the drums are super technical in those in those you know, those like modern bands, bands yeah. and um, the, the guitar work is, is amazing too. It's so it, it it still has that punk vibe to it, that pop punk vibe mm. to it, but it, it it's so modern it's and heavy. different that it's it's heavier. I think I think it I hear a mix of like the heavier side of like 2004, 05. Yeah. Like you know, um, bands like Seos and stuff like that. It's all mixed into something that's that was uh, always like in your face. Yeah. You know, and that's that's what I think we love about modern pop punk nowadays. It's exciting, oh, yeah. man. It's really yeah. it's exciting. You mentioned a lot of great bands there that we all really love on the site as well. Uh, Dream Collabs. Who are we talking about? Because I know, Tyler, you've mm. said in the past, like, oh my God, if I got to collab with All Time Low, and you have played with them before and stuff as well. Yeah, that was really cool. So we'll, we'll make a new one since that one can't uh, can't happen again for the first time. <laughs> um, I, would, I, I love I love State Champs, the Champs oh, boys. And I've played, so I've played with live <laughs> with them too. Mm. Um, uh, but like neck deep, those are all good buddies of ours. Um, I would love to do a collab with any one of those guys or Blink, but that's not gonna happen. There's no way. It's Don't say happen. that. It could still happen, man. I want to keep our expectations low. Absolutely. Yeah, that's that's the one. I don't want to be let down. It's okay for optimism, though. I think. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. And in terms of uh, more music coming, you know, we've got the few tracks that are out there. People are gonna be wanting the album. Do we have a kind of time frame? Yeah, we thing? we do. Um, do. The album is due to drop on June eighth. Okay. So very very soon. By the cool. time we're uh, back home from this tour, mm -hmm. you know everything should be you know Fantastic. going. And uh, yeah, June eighth. Expect something. Expect yeah, something. Something. yeah. We've got a great little six song EP coming out. Um, just to kind of get our sound out there. Yeah, and then yeah. as soon as we get back home, we're gonna start writing again and looking Amazing. to record an actual full length. Right. Um, we'll but keep playing too. Oh yeah, we're gonna yeah. we're gonna mm. play the entire world. That's what we like to hear. Yeah, who are you looking? Who are you looking to maybe be working with? I know you've had a couple of producers in with you already. Producers. Who are you kind of looking in the studio? Who's 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 your dream? You know, collaborators on the production <sighs> side. Man, of things. I, I mean, we, our dream kind of was Kyle Black. Amazing. Right, I was yeah. gonna say he is yeah. fantastic. You know, and, Kyle and, Black we, is and, we, and we got to work with him. He, he recorded our, our EP and uh, Nick wants to speak. <laughs> I was gonna say, feel free. You grab that mic. <laughs> Yeah, our dream is pretty much Kyle Black. I mean, I think I I love to work with John Feldman. 
Oh yeah. Feldman would be great. Um, we're playing with the fame and they got to work with him so they're giving us some insights as to how he works <laughs> and it sounds mad. Like, yeah. It just sounds like the most intense experience ever and you know working with a great producer always makes you a better musician and so we would oh, love cool. to, to work with him. Also Ben Barlow's brother is a, is a really good is, yeah. producer and I would love love to work with him too, Seb. So. Um, I mean, we're kind of we, we, we are open to everybody. We want we want to work with everybody. You know, anyone in this scene that's got that right ear for our genre. Um, but Kyle was by far a dream come true. Yeah. Kyle, yeah, he is Sorry. awesome, man. He is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> he, he put he put. Okay, hey guys, hey. So uh, triples of me. Okay, here we go. Press conference. Press conference. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like the president. Anyway, yeah, Kyle was amazing with everything that he did. Absolutely, he right. He made everything sound ridiculously huge, and that's what we were going for too. Mm. And yeah, our dream was already made by by recording with him. We've actually recorded with him about ten years ago in one of the bands that Tyler and I were in. The Tyler, the, the band that Tyler and I met in. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah. we recorded with him so long ago, and uh, he was amazing back then. Amazing. And now it's just like holy crap! <laughs> Keeping up those relationships. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, of course. It, it was always nice seeing him too, and we became good friends too, and. Uh, you know, hopefully we can either work with him more in the future or somebody else. Amazing. Kyle took him to his first strip club. Oh, there you the go. First strip club out here in the states. <laughs> Time to get out you here know, in the states. Out here, oh, in, here the states, in the states. Yeah, out here in yeah, the states. Here in the states. <laughs> no, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> hey guys, hey guys. I'm in London. Hi, how are you? It's been a long, sorry. tiring journey. It's a long journey. tour. It's a long yeah, tour. Yeah. It's fair enough. It really yeah. is. Uh, we've it's been asking. First day. <laughs> and we're asking every band we talk to in a minute because obviously it's the final Warp tour coming up this summer. Right. Memories. What was the first one you went to? Oh, Who have you seen? All this kind of stuff. Warp tour has been the staple of my entire life. I went. I went as soon as I could go. I, I was 14 years old when I was when I was able to go to my first warp tour. My pa our parents dropped me, my best friend off. We walked to the parking lot. There was a guy, there were two like a couple of dudes drinking beers. I was 14, so I wasn't able to have a beer yet. But the guy was like, "You want a beer?" I was like, "Yes, absolutely." And my 14-year-old dreams were made. He grabbed handed me the beer. His he's like, "Okay." Still too. He's like, "Okay, you got to chug it." And then uh, I was like I was chugging it and he's like, "You got to grab your nuts while you're chugging it." And so I was like literally like in the parking lot drinking a beer, chugging it, grabbing my nuts at 14. Wow. And that just basically paved the rest of my, my Warped Tour experiences for me. And then yeah. I got to ride with the Champs boys, State Champs. I rode with them for three dates. Just, just They were like, do you want to come ride in our bus? And I, I was like, fucking absolutely. Yeah, fun. Just rode in a bus. It was the greatest experience ever, man. Amazing. I, just looking for a place to poop was so hard. <laughs> it, it was the coolest. That is, that is the amount of people who've said that at Warped Tour. It's just like, man, if only there were just a few more toilets around. And, it was uh, great. But no, it wasn't great. showered at that's all. That's part of the experience, I think. I mean, I've, yeah. I've oh, never 100%. done that before. That's, but... that's a festival, man. That's yeah, a festival, yeah. Right? Festival. Hot, sweaty, porta potties. I'm sure that's all what it's all about. <laughs> that's very, very true. Time, yeah. How about you guys? Favorite sets you've seen or anything like that? Can you remember any particular bands that stood out watching them over the years? Well, first off, I do want to. This is, I guess, a formal apology. I was the man who gave you the beer. That was you. <laughs> that was me. You looked Finally. So back then. I, everything comes like, full circle right here. It was, it was Photoshop. You, you photoshopped I photoshopped place. myself. This yeah. So now when both of these drink, they always cup their balls, and now their balls are <laughs> it shaped all like their hands. It makes sense now. Oh, my God. Yeah. I'm the only one that's not... That has not been blessed by that yet. So bless me tonight, please. Give it I'll bless you. Thanks. Was Real Big Fish, whenever they come oh, out for Warped yes. Tour, that great set, come so on. So Newfound Glory, oh, great. Oh, Glory, my Glory is God. the best live band ever. Yeah. Like, yeah. they're incredible. Uh, every time I die, every time I die, absolutely incredible. Just so many good acts, man. So many yeah. good acts, so many good it's acts. And I guess you'll see a lot of those because we've got Slam Dunk coming up around the corner as well. Slam Dunk. You see your first so time playing. This is your first time attending Slam Dunk as well? This, this yes. is your first time First time attending, first time playing. Okay, it's going to be fun. So who's, yeah. who, who are you looking forward to seeing most? I guess most of the people we've just listed off. Yeah, literally, yeah. 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 Counterparts. Counterparts, Taking Counterparts Back Sunday, Good Charlotte, Jimmy Eat World, Knuckle Puck, Jimmy Eat World, Trash Boat, um, we got Gold Finger Stage Can't Champs. Swim, oh, Can't Swim, I'm a big fan of Can't Swim, yeah, I can't wait to see them, um, pretty much everybody. Dude. Our boys, the fame. The, yeah, fame, the fame, the fame, the fame, the fame, um, literally, we're, we're friends musicians. with like everybody that's there, and Four Year Strong, ugh. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we're sharing <laughs> the stage with Four Year Strong, and they're the, so heavy. Yeah, yeah, we're sharing the stage with Four Year Strong with the acoustic, um, yeah, the Key Club acoustic stage, actually. Right. Yeah, um, it's gonna be fun, man. It's, it's gonna be really, it's, really fun. It's a little, it's a little like, holy crap, we're sharing the stage with these guys, 
Okay. It's interesting because you know we're not an acoustic band, and uh, thank you by the way for holding this. Um, <laughs> we're not an acoustic band, and we were offered to play the acoustic key club stage yeah. at, at at Slam Dunk, and and we we're like, okay, well let's rewrite our songs to make them acoustic, and I'm re- we're really proud with with how they sound, and so it's it's gonna be interesting, you know, debuting ourselves at Slam Dunk as an acoustic band, yeah. and then you know hopefully next year when we come back we'll be able to rock everyone's faces yes. off with some electricity. Main stage next year. Main that's stage. what we want, guys. Oh, that's what we want, guys. That's what we want. Yeah, I've jinxed oh. it now. I'm so sorry. Yeah, you jinxed, just jinxed it. it. <laughs> I'm so sorry, boys. What's the main stage of the Jägermeister main stage, right? There's, there's a couple yeah. these days, oh, but that's God. what we want. Yeah, you got to do Jägermeister yeah. shots. Well, as you oh, I that's love I Jäger. I love Jäger. Well, there we go. Just, yeah. just by itself, though, I'm, I'm not too fond of Jäger bombs or, you know, I, I, can't, I can't do Red Bull. Can't yeah, do yeah, Red yeah. Bull. That's a wise man. That's a wise man. Uh, boys, it's so nice to see you. Best of luck with the tour. Really, really looking forward to seeing it. Yeah, and, uh, thank we'll you. We'll catch you again very soon. Papers, James, everybody. Thank you. Thanks Woo! so much, guys.